Now you recall that a few months ago we told you about the delivery of the 4000s Bonanza. A Bonanza of one sort or another has been in continuous production since 1947, longer than any other aircraft in history. We recently caught up with a Baltimore-based commercial real estate brokerage company that bought that landmark airplane for its business. Well, most think you need a turbine engine for business transportation. The Seagull Group, with three company officers as pilots of one sort or another, is finding that the new G36 Bonanza is fitting the regional travel needs for them and their clients just fine. A couple days ago, we had a, a group out of Texas with us, and we were able to see some sites and have meetings with um, some of the developers and landlords um, for the centers that they're looking to open a restaurant in. Um, and we were able to kind of do a round robin with them, a trip that the CEO of the company, as, as we're coming back that night, said, well, this would have been a three-day trip for us, and we were able to cover everything in one day thanks to the airplane. And so it's, it's, uh, it's a time machine. While the Bonanza once led in speed among high-performance singles, today that belongs to younger composite four-place singles. Nonetheless, the all-aluminum six-seat G36 is in the running and wins in comfort. We chose a Bonanza because of the cabin and, and the, uh, the number of seats. Um, we also chose the airplane because of the G1000. Uh, suite that it has. It was the type of airplane that we felt comfortable operating um, and putting clients and, and employees in it. Beechcraft has restyled the cabin over the last few years and continues to improve the capabilities of the G1000 cockpit and that highly capable GFC 700 autopilot, giving the Bonanza many of the features you'd expect only in a much larger airplane, including an automatic environmental control system, set it and forget it. With a cruise speed as high as 176 knots, the miles click by quickly. At that speed, the fuel goes fast too, though, at about 18 gallons an hour. Fly at Lena Peak, though, and the speed comes down to 162 or so, but fuel burn falls to just about 12 gallons an hour, and endurance stretches to some five and a half hours. The Bonanza's legendary lineage gave the young Baltimore company a lot of comfort. The decision to buy new was helped by the current accelerated bonus depreciation program and a generous warranty. For Santana, a former charter pilot, his new role as chief pilot has given him a front seat in watching Andy Seagull, the founder of the company, and his father Mark, chairman, develop their skills as pilots, Mark a sport pilot, Andy a student pilot. It's one of the more rewarding uh, aspects of, of our, our, our use of uh, general aviation for, the, for, uh, for our company has been opening the, the, the world of private flight for, uh, for Andy, uh, one of the principals, and um, being able to bring somebody along as they start exploring and, and getting to know and uh, being there for his uh, first solo flight um, and just seeing him evolve into into the aviator that that we're we're hopefully going to make out of him it has been a, a a very neat experience and one that I think every pilot um, that is passionate about this should should be able to do um, to be able to give back uh, to somebody while he's flown bigger airplanes the Bonanza bug has bitten Santana it's a joy to fly. It's it's a pilot's airplane. Um, it is a it is a heavy, robust airframe um, that that handles turbulence, that handles um, uh, you know weather that 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 you encounter on the type of flying that we do. Um, and the the new features of the airplane, um, you know, it basically is like your own little airliner. And you could own your own G thirty six for a cool six hundred and seventy thousand dollars. And you can read more about the G36 in the September issue of AOPA Pilot Magazine.